you barking at? No. No. All right, so we're back again. I thought I'd do a little extra follow-up on the previous review just to differentiate the differences of the new flame paint that we got out versus the old formula and the flame blue. It can get kind of confusing because they're all the same freaking name, right? Just so we can do a little lineup here. So we're starting out with the, uh, the classic flame. It used to be called flame orange, but from here out we're just going to call it flame classic. This was a, an acrylic thickened formula that's made in Asia. Very similar to Iron Lac or any of the other Asian import paints you see out there. Very little difference between any of those brands. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if they're all made in the same factory. Primary difference though is this does have a European valve, so it's a little bit smoother. But it's inexpensive paint, uh, perfect for free walls, bombing, or any of those type of situations where you don't need a super high-end paint, but want, you know, something better than you get at the hardware store. And I'll say that, this is definitely better than anything you get at the hardware store. As far as like how it feels, how the paint comes out, you know, controllability and whatnot. Durability, you know, rust is definitely still going to be a little bit better, but for the painting experience, this would be a much more appreciable experience. And it's cheap. Now, the other one is the Flame Blue Acrylic. And a lot of people have been asking about this paint because they've been like, oh, Green Ranger, you say it's so tight. What's so tight about it? I mean, essentially, the best way I can describe this is like, you know, it's an acrylic European paint, okay? So it's going to be similar to like 94 or, you know, any of those other type of acrylic paints that you come out of here. Very high quality, very smooth, but it has a little bit of Belton's magic in it. Even though it's acrylic, it's still got that beautiful, hard, clean capability that you get out of the Belton can. I mean, it's like, it's like almost like cheating to use this stuff. But for those who do like murals, uh, high-end artwork, work on canvas, this is a fantastic product. So if that's what you do, I definitely check this out. Now, that doesn't say you can't go bombing or hit freights with it. You can do that with any paint. But this is a very precise can, and if you're very serious about your artwork, I highly suggest checking it out. The, the last but not least is the Flame Orange. Now, this is a brand new formula that is also European made. This is not an Asian import. Very unique can. Some people mistakenly refer to it as high pressure. That is not true. If you use a high pressure can like a burner chrome uh, or an HP or any of those type of cans, you put a thin tip like a gray dot or MSS on it, it'll still be much wider than it would be on any other can. That is how a high pressure can operates. This can is high output with a variable pressure valve. With the stock cap, you can have huge flares. In fact, probably some of the best flares I've seen on any spray paint. I mean, it's buttery flares. You get the flare controllability like an old Krylon can. So if you want to look at some old school like LA tags from like 92, you definitely get this kind of style out of one of these cans. So as far as like doing tag styles, there's nothing better than this can on the market right now. But that's not the only thing this can is good for. Uh, it's variable pressure. So if you put a thin tip on it, you can get extremely clean, thin lines. So what we're gonna do is a, a quick little lineup with three different types of caps. One is going to be the Molotov Super Skinny. Okay, so this is a, an ultra thin cap. Uh, if anybody's used it, you know what I'm talking about. It's in the same realm as like the gray dots or gold dots, except it doesn't clog as easy. Probably one of my favorite thin tips on the market right now. Very clean lines, very low pressure. So this is a good baseline for a low pressure cap. The second one is a New York fat cap. Everyone keeps asking me, what does the new flame look like with the New York fat cap? What's the flame? You're gonna find out, okay? And you know what? And that's actually a very good question because everybody knows how a New York fat cap works and everyone knows how it works differently in all these different cans. So you're gonna get a good baseline of how all these cans work by looking at how it sprays at the New York. Cause you're like, oh, I know how New York works on this paint. Seeing it on that other can will give you a very good idea. So this is our baseline cap. And finally, we're gonna use a silver fat to see how they all react with the fat cap. That way we can test flare, uh, the size of the dot, things like that. This will show you the difference when you use a high quality paint matched with a real style Euro cap. Okay, so we're gonna do a quick little review featuring these caps on each of the cans. So that way we'll do all at the same time. You'll see how these cans react with the caps. We're gonna start first with the Molotov Super Skinny. So we're gonna go skinny to fat on the caps, which is basically how I operate at the bar on the weekends. Um, <laughs> depending on how drunk I get. Um, anyways, so, uh, <laughs> So first, Flame Classic. So I'll move over here, I guess. So this is a Molotov Super Skinny and the Flame Classic. So remember, this is a thickened acrylic formula. So it's gonna come out really slow and really thick. So you're not really gonna get a lot of flares with it. So we're gonna do a couple simple shapes 
with each of the caps and then we'll, we'll, we'll do a little tag with each of the caps just so you can see how they operate. And these are common shapes that you see in graffiti like triangles, squares, dots, bubbles, you know, you, you get the picture. All right, so first we'll do a little star. All right, pretty basic, controllable, you know, not a tremendous amount of overspray, pretty easy to control. I mean, this is a great cap for a cheap can. Uh, okay, so we'll do a little circle. Nice. Then we'll do a fade. Pretty cool, right? And then we'll do like a squiggly line. And now, let's try a little tag. Alright, as you can see, the Flame Classic for a cheap Chinese paint, you can get a pretty decent mark with it. Not bad, actually, for the price. Uh, yeah, so that is the Molotov Super Skinny on the Flame Classic. Let's go to the next paint. So this is the Flame Blue with the Molotov Super Skinny. Also low pressure, also acrylic, but this is a European form. Okay. So first we'll start with the star. Now, I don't know if this translates in the video, but I can already feel the difference. This is pretty, pretty controllable, but there's an amount of precision in this can that I'm definitely feeling that is much more substantial. So you definitely do notice a difference. Uh, let me do a little circle here, and then I'll do a fade. Nice. Um, already I'm feeling that there's less overspray and there's more control. Uh, I think it's a very fine product. All right, so now we'll do a little squiggly. Again, it's probably not translating in the video as much, but I see it in person and you do feel a big difference. The valve is much smoother, much softer. There's an amount of flare, even with the thin tip on this can, that I just don't feel like I'm getting with the Flame Classic. Now, Let's rock the flame orange. The first thing is like, oh, it's high pressure, it's gonna look huge, right? Wrong. Not bad for a high pressure can, right? I love this can because I feel it just covers better. Like, it just comes out so much more smooth application is just uh, much more precise for uh, for something that you might want to go behind, you know. I love this can. It's a little bit thicker, but really like you gotta if you got a half sense of can control, you gotta get these man because honestly like I don't like using thin tips myself. I like the paint fast. I don't like being held up by my I got shit to do, you know. So for me this is my choice. Very smooth application. I will say the synthetics feel a little bit runnier than the acrylics do, but again, it's so such a minute difference, you know? So if you really need maximum control, I'd probably go with the acrylic paint. But if you know what you're doing and you just want to do a big throw up, but do it real clean and stylish, or still want to paint a piece, this is the choice. So next, let's do the New York Fat Caps. So now, we're gonna do a quick demonstration with the New York Fat Cap. I think the New York is a great baseline cap for these cans. It gives you a better feel for how a can reacts. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with that. Uh, again, we're gonna start with the Flame Classic so you can see how it looks. It's a New York Fat Cap. Fade, line, and then I'll do a tag. I'll tell you this, if you buy Flame Classic, only use New York Fat Caps on them because it's like the perfect balance of pressure. It's not too big, 
not too thin, and for some reason it just mates perfectly with the valves on these cans. So definitely would highly recommend it. I will say this though, uh, it is a little bit runnier than the Flame Blues. So we'll try those out too. This is a gorgeous cat. I mean, it doesn't matter what can you put it on. It's just like perfect. It's like butter. It's just like, I just, I just love these caps. So again, good baseline. A little bit thicker, but very controllable with this cat. Now, Mr. Variable Pressure here. Let's see how he operates with the New York cat. You already see it's getting bigger, right? I love this cap on this can. As you can see, it's it's a little bit thicker, but still very well within the realm of control. I love this. All right, so now let's see how they all work with the silver fat. Without further ado, Flame Classic. There's one thing I've noticed with a lot of the Chinese paints is you can get really fat, thick lines, but they uh, they have kind of a dirty flare in comparison to the Euro cans, and I think that's just the nature of the Chinese formulas. They're just not as smooth, but I don't know. It looks better than a Rusto can. It's got flare action to it. Pretty tight. So let's try the flame blue. As you can see, the Flame Blue compared to the Flame Classic, right? You can really see the difference in the line work of it. It's so much smoother, so much cleaner, uh, but it feels a lot slower. So, uh, you know, that can be a good thing or a bad thing depending on who you are. I would really like this to do tags with. Throw ups, probably not. Outline of throw up, yes. With the fill it in, I don't think so. Now we're gonna try the flame orange out and see how that operates on this surface. Holy crap. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah? <laughs> Out of paint. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Look at this shit, man. This is fucking awesome. There you go, right? You thought you thought that was big. You thought that shit was big. Look, look at that fucking shit. Imagine doing that. So there you go. Let's do a let's do a little quick walk down the line here. Flame orange, brand new formula with the silver fat. Well, the naysayers have said that the new silver fat wasn't as good. Come and talk to me about that. You're wrong. Uh, all right. 
flame blue with the same cap, flame classic with the same cap. A little bit more flare, a little less flare, phenomenal flare over there. Had a little technical difficulty over here, so don't mind that. But uh, this belongs over here. So we have flame orange, flame blue, and flame classic. And then all the cans with the Molotov Super Skinny, which is very interesting because you get very good control with all of them. I think that concludes our video for today. I hope it was very informative. I hope I've answered all your questions. But if I didn't, hit me up on the YouTube comments and I will be more than happy to answer them. All right guys, thanks for hitting us up today. All these products are available at artprimo.com. The Flame Classic, the Flame Blue, and the new Green Ranger's favorite, Flame Orange. So hit us up. If you have any questions you want to talk to me directly, just call 206. 365-4083 or email us at artprimo.com at gmail.com we give great internet so give us a call 206-365-4083 Green Ranger talking to you peace